Lesson 3.10, Word Problem Solving Equal Groups. We're also going to talk about skip counting. We can solve a problem by acting it out. To use the strategy Act It Out, we can use counters or draw quick pictures. Acting it out, we can skip count equal groups to find a total. We have three bags of grape candy, four candies in each bag. We can skip count by fours, four, eight, 12. There's 12 grape candies in all. If we have three rows of four, it's equal to 12 in all. We have three rows and there's four in each row. We can skip count four, eight, 12. There's 12 in all. There are four donuts in a box. How many donuts are in two boxes? So we think we can encircle the important information and act it out with a quick drawing. It's important that there are four donuts in a box and that there are two boxes. We can draw four little circles for the donuts and then four more little circles to show one box, two boxes. We draw two rows with four in each row, two equal groups of four. That would be eight donuts. Tala puts three slices of pizza on each plate. How many slices will she put on five plates? We think we need to find how many slices in all. We can circle the important information. There are three slices on each plate, there's five plates. And we can draw a quick picture to act it out. We can put a little dot for each slice of pizza. Here we have a plate and we put five plates and we put three little dots on each one for the three slices of pizza. We can skip count by threes. There's five equal groups of three, so we skip count by threes. Three, six, nine, 12, 15. That means there will be 15 slices of pizza. Skip counting by threes is much quicker than counting on by ones. Skip counting is a faster way to count objects in equal groups. There are two cookies on each plate. How many cookies are on four plates? That means we have four equal groups of two, and we can skip count by twos. Two, four, six, eight. That's eight cookies. There are three plates. Mrs. Kim puts two brownies on each plate. Then she puts two brownies on four more plates. How many brownies in all does she put on the plates? So let's start by circling the important information. There are three plates, two brownies on each plate, then there's two brownies on four more plates. We can act it out with a quick drawing. We have three plates with two brownies on each plate, and we have two brownies on four more plates. We can skip count by twos. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. That makes 14 brownies in all. There were two parts to this problem. There were three plates with two brownies on each plate, and then we had four more plates that had two brownies on each plate, and we put them together. Emma and three friends buy candy bars. Each person gets three candy bars. Draw a picture to show the groups of candy bars. So think, be very careful. It says each person gets three candy bars. How many people are there? We have Emma and three friends. Emma and three friends is equal to four people bought candy bars. We circle the important information. Emma and three friends, and it's important there were three candy bars each. We can draw four circles for the four friends, and we can draw three little rectangles in a circle to be three candy bars. Now, how many candy bars did they get? We can skip count by threes. Three, six, nine, twelve. They got 
12 candy bars all together. Skip counting by threes is a lot faster than counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We can just quickly say 3, 6, 9, 12. Skip counting by twos, we count 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. You can see we're skipping one, we're skipping the three, and we're counting using every other number. Skip count by threes, we have three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. We're counting three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. When we skip count by fours, we count 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. We're counting 4, then skipping to 8, skipping to 12, skipping to 16, then skipping to 20. When we skip count by fives, we count 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. We skip to the 5, skip to 10, skip to 15, skip to 20, skip to 25, and we could keep going, couldn't we? It's much quicker than counting each one. So remember, by putting our counters into equal groups, we can skip count them, and we can act it out and find a total quicker. Our next lesson, 3.11, we're gonna learn about repeated addition and equal groups. You have a very wonderful day. I hope you'll join me next time. Bye.